if you leave that door, if you leave that door, you will not come back to this house again. Come here. Cynthia, come here! No, 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 the next time you disobey me, the next time you disobey me in this house, I will walk you off. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, Daddy. Have I not warned you to stay away from that street urchin? You are. I have, right? And you chose to flaunt my orders. You chose to disobey me. Let me warn you. If yes. you get pregnant out of wedlock, you cease to be my daughter and you will not come close to my house. Do you hear me? Yes, Daddy, I have heard you, but I will not get pregnant. Shut up, about! What do you mean? What do you mean you're talking about? If you dare me, if you dare me, you will understand there are no two captains in a ship. really worth it. All these tears and punishment every time. Why can't you leave him for your own peace of mind so that mom and dad will see from a different light altogether? Huh? I'm not going to leave him. I cannot live without him. I love him. He's my life. He's my everything. I can't live without him. But you were living before you met him. See, you will not understand. I don't know how to explain. You know when you have no exp How do I make you understand the kind of love that oh, Marie is someday you understand. Someday. I don't know. Can I, can I explain something? Son, have you given any thought to our previous discussion? About getting a wife? No. No? Mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? Or do you need my help on that? Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be so ridiculous. Why can't you find a wife for me? Don't worry, I will find my wife myself. So what are we waiting for? I'm waiting for the right woman. I don't want to make any mistakes out of desperation. Please. 
I will find out. As much as I try to understand you, I can't wait to see children running around this house. You know, I can't wait to see my grandchildren bathe them, carry them. You know, you know, don't you have pity on me? I need grandchildren. Don't worry, mother. Don't worry. When the time comes, when I find the right woman, okay, she'll give you lots of grandchildren. Oh, is it a promise? It's a promise. Mm -hmm. What are you? Mm -hmm. I just need beautiful and handsome grandchildren running around this hey, house, you know. You. What are you doing there? So sorry, sir. No, 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 sit down, sit down. So, you want to listen to senior jokes, yeah? It's fine. I'm happy you heard what you heard. Well, I'm getting another wife for myself to replace you because you have no value for me anymore. So henceforth, you are a servant. But if you decide to leave, fine. I'm getting another wife for myself. Get out. Hey, you don't have to be sorry, my darling. You know you are absolutely useless. But my son decided to give you a job, like cleaning job. <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> he will bring me container of children. Giving me beautiful, handsome grandchildren to run around here. <laughs> You're a son, the son of the mother. Why are you treating me like this? And everything that happened to me wasn't my fault. So it's my fault. That's not the thing. So what other meaning can possibly come out of this your insensitive statement? Marisa, you're my husband and I'm your wife. You know what I have been through just to be with you? Do I really deserve this? You know, this your emotional blackmail will not work with me. Never. You deceived me. You deceived me. And trust me by God, you will suffer for the rest of your life. Where is you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, if you had come to me, discussed with me, opened up to me, we wouldn't have been in this mess today. I'm sorry. You know everything I did, I did it out of love. Our love. I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm sorry. Being selfish can never <sighs> be the right thing to do. Are you selfish? Really? Get out of my sight. Hey. If I repeat myself again, I will burn you. Just thank your stars that I'm in a happy mood. Get out! Hey. Hey. My love, you can't leave me. If you leave me, I might die of loneliness and longing for you. Then come with me. Yes. Look, my love, I cannot continue to stay in this village. Eh? I need to go to the city, expand my business for you, so that you'll be very comfortable. Yes, I know I'm handling my father's business in this village, but come on. I need to leave, probably you know, hand them over to my younger ones. You know, you know I can't live with you. My parents won't let me, especially if they know it's you I'm living with. Just give me one year. What about my admission? Just a year, please. Don't worry about admission. I'll give you another admission. Yes. Even before you get the admission, you're supposed to hear me that you write before the admission. You stay in my house and write it. Huh. You get 300 plus. Yes. 
Even before you before you graduate, I must have gotten your certificates. Before you graduate, your certificates will be ready. My love, mm -hmm. how will you do all this? Don't you know I have money? I have money. A babola like me. <laughs> I'll buy the certificate for you. <laughs> if you want to wear your entrance certificate, I'll buy it. What about my parents? Don't worry about your parents. Once they know that you've acquired all these certificates and you're living with me, they will leave you. And they'll be happy. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Don't worry. I can do anything for you. Don't worry about the university. You, know. you will stay in my house. I'll be taking lectures. I'll call the lecturers. I know all these universities in this in this in this state. I know. In this country, I know. <laughs> I'll just call them and tell them, exempt my, 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 my baby, and they will they will leave you. If you if after after lecture, they'll come to the house and lecture you. There's nothing there's nothing more they cannot do. So, so come with me. Please. Okay, I'll come with you. Don't worry, I'll find a way to handle my parents. Good. Handle them. Handle them. Let them know that you've met me. And they'll be happy. Do you promise? Mm. I'm not sure. You promise. I promise. I want you to keep to your promises. I will. I will. You know I love you. I will keep to my promise, Are okay? You sure? I'm very sure. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Sister, what's happening? The whole backyard is filled with your clothes. And you're still here washing clothes. Haven't you been washing your clothes for the past six months? Maurice, you and your exaggerations. What? I just feel like washing my clothes. You just feel like washing your clothes. Even the ones that are not dirty. Is there a problem if I feel like washing both my dirty and neat clothes? Anyway, there's no problem. I'm just surprised. Forget I ask. Are you not going to church today? I'll go in the lounge. Mm -hmm. I will find his family and they will give me the address of where he traveled with my daughter. You see, you sound like um, Cynthia was under any form of cohesion when she eloped with that young man. No, look at Maris here. She has just confirmed that she saw her washing all her clothes. Yes. Hmm. And now she has packed all the clothes went away with the young man, every of her belonging, meaning that she knows what she was doing. Yes. Why would she choose to elope with that guy? Does he mean a lot to her than her family? My dear daughter, your sister has never paid heed to her father myself. I have warned her severally about that young man, but she has never taken any of my advice. Well, I don't know why I'm surprised at her actions. Like I said before, I am going to find his family. And the spell that he cast on my daughter will be broken. <laughs> there is nothing, there is no such spell, my dear. Your daughter did what she did, believing herself. She knew what she was doing. And by the way, what are you talking about looking for your daughter? Where will you start? Are you telling me you're going to roam the streets? You're going to, to move around town? From where will you start? <sighs> well, you have a point there. But Maris, Cynthia used to be close to you. I mean, he, she must have told you one or two. She has never mentioned his name. Talk of where he's from. <laughs> I just pray that these half stupid actions 
did not boomerang. Otherwise, she will never see that position, that her place in the school again. I'm telling you. Cynthia! <laughs> Cynthia! Ma! Ma! There's a tuba of yam inside the kitchen. I want you to make me yam. Okay, ma, and let me finish ironing Marizu's clothes. He wants to wear them out. Are you stupid or you're learning how to be stupid? Mm. Eh? Mm. So what's the serious issue about making me yam for me to eat? What if hunger decides to kill me before you finish ironing the clothes you're, you're talking about? Just make me yam, let me eat you're talking about ironing clothes. Do you have a head at all? Okay, ma, how would you like it? A boiled porridge? No, you're talking. I want it roasted. Roasted like so dry. Dry it so well. And of course, with uh, the fresh pepper sauce. Mm. Ma, roasted? You have a problem with roasting your food? No, ma, it's just that. It's just that to what? It's just that to what? Why are you so lazy and so lousy? Why do you have that bad combination? Bad combination. You're lazy, you're lousy. What is the big deal about making me roasted? Yeah. There's charcoal, there's charcoal pot, and what? What again? Please, go and make me roasted. I want to eat your now. Roasted! Thank you, ma. Hey, 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 where do you think you're going to? Huh? Where do you think you're going to? I said, go inside the kitchen and make me roasted. Yeah! It's a stupid girl. You don't know so beautiful. That's looking so, so scared. I didn't know that she. Are you sure she's not sick? This good for nothing girl, I asked her to iron my clothes that I have an important meeting to attend to. Up to now, she has not even done, done anything. Has anyone in your family attended any important meeting in their life before? Oh. Huh? No, it, it's my mother said <laughs> <laughs> See, I will add another password. So you already what was you received. If you call my name and make me an excuse why I got don't, don't what he asked you to do. I told this girl to make me roasted yeah, two hours ago. Is that why you want to use an excuse not to do what my son asked you to do? Eh? Now, now you listen to me. I give you five minutes to iron those clothes. Did you hear me? Did you, did you hear me? And make sure that my yam doesn't get it. Because if it gets burnt, if it gets burnt, good point. Did you hear what I said? I said five minutes. Is good, there there? good for nothing, daughter of Jezebel. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, Marizu brought another woman home. Uh -huh. Go and learn new styles. Probably it will help you get pregnant and give me the grandchildren I've been asking for all this while. Uh, Mama, is that all you are going to say? What else do you want me to say? Yeah? Go and learn new things. Go and learn new things. If you like, stay here and cry. You will still be the one that will lose. Go and learn new things. No knowledge is a waste. Learn new style. Don't need children. Give me grandchildren. Thank you. 
Ghana sauce for you and I. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, when I come back again. Okay. Never see you. Oh, really? <laughs> come on, I'm joking. Don't uh, worry. I'll think about it. Okay. Alright, let's. <laughs> well, she's just for the night. I needed to let the boy come. <laughs> so when are you bringing the one that is going to be for Kips? Very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, whatever. I hope you didn't use protection. The only thing I need now is a grandchild. She can give me the grandchild and go to wherever she wants to go. I don't care. Give me a grandchild. I don't care whether she stays or not. Ah, one minute late. No, don't worry. See, that one. <laughs> she will terminate the pregnancy immediately she finds out. Hey. And she will not tell me. So just you know, leave it at that. She has come to do her work and she's she's gone. I need a grandchild. Hey. What are you listening to? <laughs> hey, that one. She has been cleaning that surface since last night. I mean, like, for the past 18 hours, this girl has been cleaning the surface. And that room is still messed up. <laughs> hey, you. My friend, will you go and clean up that room? I'm giving you 10 seconds. Since you cannot bear me, children. Hey, I clean. Let us know that this cleaning that you are good at. Hey, at least you'll be good at something. Cleaning. I clean the, clean the house, clean the room. Since you can't give me children. Nonsense. Mama. Hey? That guy just left. My God. Oh, hi. Hi. Sorry, I saw you over there with my friends. Oh. Good. My goodness, you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, uh, my name is Marizo. Oh, I'm Imelda. <sighs> Melda. Yeah. Can I have your number? Oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to call you. It's fine. So please, how about we hang out? we we'll see about that. Let's talk on the phone. All right? I'll call you. Sure. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Cynthia, why don't you want to leave this, this marriage and go back to your family? Why have you subjected yourself to so much suffering, all in the name of marriage? It's alright. You know how I left. They will never take me back, especially my father. Okay. Okay, move in with me. Yeah, move in with me then. Move in with me until you're able to sort yourself out. No, 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 no. Why? I, I can't move in with you. See, you have your own family and your own problems. And besides, if I leave Marizu, nobody will accept to marry me again. Really? So all you're thinking about is marriage, man, and, and all of that? If you die now, would you still have all of that? See? Think about yourself, Cynthia. It's your life we're talking about here. Zara, you know my condition. It's already too late to leave. Too late? Cynthia, too late for what exactly? Too late to save your life? Too late to leave this shadow of death you call marriage? Too late to move on with your life and pick yourself up? Too late for what exactly? I want, I want you to come back to, to the Cynthia that I know. Oh my God. Hmm. 
<laughs> and finally, she decides to come back. Yeah, mom. mom kill you then. Mom kill you then. Don't look like a mom. So, so after leaving me here all by myself for a whole day, you are providing anything for me. You are coming back here to say, nye, nye, nye. What does that mean? I went to church, mom. <laughs> Uh, chai, 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 chai. You went to church. What exactly did you go to church to do? Let me ask you. Yes. Okay, you went there to pray for a miraculous wound. Eh? What exactly did you go to church to do? You to pray, mom. To pray for a miraculous wound. Hey, besides, let me. What for the last time? Don't you ever look at me and call me your mom? Don't look like a wretched mom. Do I look like a wretched mom who doesn't know her responsibility as a mother? As far as raising a child is, is concerned. Anyways, I am hungry. I wanted to go inside that kitchen and make me something to eat. I just need it. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but there's soups in the freezer. You could have heat it up, ma. Now that you're back, heat it up yourself. Okay, you want to? That's why you let me in this house and want me to stress myself. Is that it? Again. I don't want to eat soup. I want to eat rice. Rice! There's rice in the freezer, ma. Fried rice. There's fried rice, ma. Okay. I don't want to eat fried rice that is already in the freezer. What I want to eat is freshly prepared fried rice. Do I look unfresh to you? You expect me to go and take the rice that's in the freezer that could be a piece. I want to eat freshly prepared rice. Okay, ma. Hey, 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 the last time I checked, that's the road to the kitchen and not this way. Okay. Oh, welcome, my son. <laughs> You're welcome, my son. Thank you very much, ma. Oh, you look quite exhausted. Wow. Yeah, I had a hectic day at work. Oh. Yeah, but something nice came out of it. Really? Yes. So who could that be? I met this beautiful, sumptuous lady today. <laughs> I love this sumptuous, beautiful lady. Is she also fertile and for keeps? Eh, uh, Mama. They didn't write fetter than her forehead now. So I, I didn't see. <laughs> Besides, I just met her today. But I'm going to meet her again and again. Then I will know if she's, uh, you know, fetter. <laughs> this was the most precious news of the millennium. The <laughs> most precious news I've heard in a while. You know what? Mm. I want you to hurry up and marry her immediately. <laughs> I can't wait any longer to have my grandchildren I from see. this handsome <laughs> man. <laughs> Definitely, they will be mm. fine, handsome uh, like you. You know, patience, they say, is virtue. <laughs> but like I said, I just met her. So don't worry. <laughs> You're looking at the latest grandma. <laughs> Mommy, let me go and freshen up. You need to freshen up. <laughs> Latest grand mom of the year. Oh, no, I can't wait. <laughs> but that's me, dear. Empty vessel. She can't have you. Don't worry, I'll bring you me. I'm not going to give me grandchildren.
Jesus, pick your call. Pick your call now. Okay, you want to bathe me with the water? Oh yeah, now bathe me with the water. I'll bathe me with the water. Because I asked you to give me a glass of water, I want to now bathe you with the water. My friend, give me that water. And where do you think you're going to? My friend, come back here. Okay, you want to go and sleep. You want to go and lie down while I sit down here and wait for your husband. Your husband! Your husband is no here back and you so comfortable you want to go and lie down and sleep. Sit down again. No one is going to sleep this night until my son returns. Simple! He has to let so very one sleeps! I don't know how you put Mario over. Sit down here and we'll wait for your husband. your calls. Are you okay? Good morning, mother. Good morning is not the answer to my question. I asked, where were you last night? It's going to say I'm, I'm not in the mood. Talk to you later. Welcome. Are you? What do you think you're doing there? You don't have anything to do with yourself this morning. I think I'll uh, do something for you. Get useful. Are you all right? What do you care? Are you hungry? I made your favorite porridge jam. Do you want to poison me? Why are you advertising it? Huh? I was just wondering if you were hungry. Stop wondering and get out. Get out. Sonic? What happened yesterday? Nothing. Everything is fine. I was just... I was just drunk and I couldn't drive home. But at least you should have picked your mother. When I said I'm fine... Your mother was worried I, I, Did you hear me? I said I am fine. Okay? I didn't even know where my phone was till this morning. I'm fine. It's okay. Very well then. Are you still feeling drunk now? No. All right. Just take care of yourself and next time be more careful. Right? <laughs> take care of yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. You had such a great time. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. Actually, I had fun today. So, would you like us to do this again? Uh -huh. Oh, come on, you're beautiful. <laughs> I notice you wear a ring. Oh, yeah. I'm married. Would you like us to talk about it? Oh, no. Another time, perhaps. Right. Right. <laughs> Why didn't you clean my shoe? I did. You did? Yes. So why is it not shining? What are you talking about, Marizu? 
Your shoe is black and shiny. What else do you want? Are you asking me questions? Huh? Why do you hate me so much? There's nothing I can do to ever please you. Why do you even turn to such a hideous monster? Eh? Me. Marie is watching him, man. Hideous monster. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what the hideous monster does to a single Please. man. Okay. I'm a hideous monster. Yeah. I will do it. Please, hey, Chibo. I'm will sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cynthia, you're slowly dying. God, I'm worried. Marizu is gradually taking you to your grave. Surely there must be a way out. We can find your parents. I just need you to tell me their address, okay? I can go look for them myself. Cynthia, I need you to cooperate with me. We can even get Marizu arrested. Look at what he's doing to you. Oh, Sarah. That's only make matters worse. You don't get it. And to my parents, I am no longer their child. Cynthia, don't say that. You think after so many years they will still be angry with you? I mean, not if they find you in this condition. Don't worry. I know why Marizu is acting this way. I know in my heart that someday he's going to change. Uh, Cynthia, I can't watch you go through this kind of pain. Change when? My husband, welcome. Welcome, Mom. Hey, when I call you gossip, you answer me. Gossip. Sir. What were you discussing with Zaram? Nothing. Don't you ever lie to me because if you do, I will make this life miserable for you. What were you discussing with her? So what you do these days is go out there, bring people into this house and gossip. Right? By the way, why did you invite someone into this house knowing that you're looking this terrible? Okay, you want them to see us as bad people, right? Eh? That we're wicked to you. I did not invite her. She came on her own. And she didn't call you before coming? She did. And you encouraged her to come into my house. Is this your father's house? No, sir. <laughs> Son, this girl here is trying to paint us black before the general public. She wants pity. She wants them to see us as wicked people. That's exactly what she's doing. Nothing else. Hold your ears. Hold your ears. Don't you ever in your life bring any idiot into my house. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. And I ban you henceforth from living in this house without my permission. Yes, sir. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Get out! Ah! Empty container. Empty barren container.
Hello, Hafa. Come on, I'm not fine, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Those girls, those girls, we, we, those girls, Jada Day now. Hafa, do you, how, how well do you know them? What they laugh now, what the worry you? How well do you know them? What is your problem? I'm talking another thing, I'm talking another thing. I think those girls, they've infected me with, with infection or just a scratch since. Yes. Bishop, you have killed me. Bishop, you have killed me. You have killed me. Why did you do anything to tell me? You have killed me, Bishop. She's not now. She's not. But she's the last person before the infection. Get, get for me. I, I would appreciate this thing is giving me each too much. I've never had this kind of experience before. Please, when are you getting the drugs? Okay, 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 okay. Fine, thank you. Bishop. Are these drugs effective? What are you saying? Very effective for flushing out infections. But, Marizu, mm -hmm. With all your ringo, both protected and unprotected, how come you don't take antibiotics to flush your system? See, women are heavy carriers of disease, so... Yeah, yes, I know, I know, but you know, I don't just like taking drugs when I don't have any health. You know, it's not, it's not good for my health. And who told you that? I really, really don't like now. Oh, you read it online. Okay. Let's see both of us who has infection. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you had been taking antibiotics after every sexual intercourse, you won't be here complaining about gonorrhea. I know, eh? now. Uh, yeah. Sorry, but I'm saying the truth. Eh? I'm saying the truth. How I uh, The prescription is there. Make sure you don't abuse it. Very important. Yeah, no problem. Don't keep your Oh, my children are here. Welcome, son. Oh, look at her. Well, the fertile one is here. Yes. <laughs> And finally, mm. I am going to listen to the cries of my grandchildren and are going to disrupt my sleep. Mommy, <laughs> she has triplet. You don't say that! <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at it. Now, when you look at this one, what you see is children, children, children. <laughs> Just look at it. God, so, oh my God, my, my daughter, you are welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Mm. Um, is she the one? Yes, she's the one. Um, she's now your servant. She's going to serve you henceforth. Mm. <laughs> and since she has decided to be a man, mm. we have found a better use for her. Exactly. <laughs> you don't have to worry about anything. Hmm? What in bigger? You are covered. You are protected. Oh my daughter. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, hey, you reptile. <laughs> My friend, will you come and carry my wife's back to her oh, room? Oh, yes. Empty container. <laughs> I'll help you. Angel. Hey, hey. There. This is now your new boss, okay? And you're going to serve her with humility. Hmm? 
Now hurry up, get going. It is not <laughs> easy to be pregnant. <laughs> hey, Baron, continue. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please Thank make yourself comfortable. Sit down. She'll provide you everything you want. <laughs> you don't need to stress yourself. I have eyes for good things. Mom. But I trust my son. I can trust you, my you son. <laughs> <laughs> like God, Sunshine. Baby. Good morning, my love. Good morning. How long have you been staring at me like that? What if I told you all night? Mm, I wouldn't believe. Stop, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now that you are awake, what would you like to have for breakfast? <sighs> Whatever I want. She'll make it for me. Make sure that. <laughs> She's at your service. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Mm. You don't know how much I love you. I know. Make sure that everything I'll give it to you, okay? I want them to cook you so I can have you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you can have me all to yourself? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -mm. Shake your hand on me. Please. Go! Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. this spot now? Um, Cynthia! That's her name, right? Mm. Cynthia! Yes? What are you doing? I'm washing the dishes. <laughs> That's the only thing I know she can do best. I give it to her. <laughs> When you're done with what you're doing, I have some dirty clothes on my bed. Pick them up and wash them. Mm. Sparkling clean. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Get going. Go, go. Get it. Go! <laughs> go! 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 Good boy, good boy. Saints here. Come here. <sighs> so, um, I want you to have this cash go down the road and get me shawarma. Didn't you see I'm just coming from the market and I'm very tired? Sorry. Were you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you crippled? You want to eat shawarma, you don't know how to go and buy it yourself. My friend, take this money and go get what I asked you to buy. What are you, are you stupid? If you really want to eat shawarma, go and buy it yourself. Oh, <laughs> One more step because of you, I will deal with you. 
Kneel down. Kneel down there! And now you listen to me. The next time she sends you on an errand and you ask questions, I will pluck off your nose. Did you hear me? Yes. Ordinary Shaoma. Just she... down the road. You couldn't. Huh? My dear. Oh. This girl is growing wings. She's growing wings in this house. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. She is your boss. Okay? And you're here to serve her. Did you hear me? Now get going. Get up! The next time she disobeys you, slap her. You mean punch? A punch. Good for you. Punch her. Okay? You're right, puppy. <laughs> How many shots do you want? Just one. You want me to add weight? Where is she? Do you know that each time I wake up from sleep and I realize the fact that you're beside me, I feel a little bit. Come here. So. Henceforth, I do not want to see you in this room again. Pack your things, go downstairs. The room besides the generator, that is where you will sleep henceforth. Okay? Marisu, I am your wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is my wife. You are my servant. So get out now. Don't let me stand up. Come on, get out! Sorry, I'm out now, okay? Are you done washing my car already? The gate man insisted he washes it. Are you, are you stupid? Are you mad? I asked you to wash my car? But you gave it to the gate man to wash instead. Are you stupid? No, I didn't ask him to. He pleaded and insisted on washing it. Oh, he did that because he knows you're a lazy and good for nothing woman. That's what you are. He knows you're not going to do it. That's why he did it himself. I'll let that pass. Anyways, my toilet is quite messy and I want you to go clean it. I mean now. Alright. Clean it properly. Thank you. Mom? She's the one at the door. Okay. She says she's sister's friend. Sisters? Do you mean Cynthia? Yes, ma. I am your daughter's very good friend. Okay. Please sit down. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Chill, have some patience. I'll be getting a chiffy. Relax. I think I'm good. You're not. Okay. What to do? What to do? What to do? Is everything all right? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 not in this. I mean, my sister, yeah, she she called me that my mom is terribly sick. So um, I want to rush to the hospital to see her. I'm sorry about that, okay? <laughs> it's fine. Just take it easy on yourself. Oh, sure, sure. Right. Yeah. 
I'll be back for you. Know. I'll you see you. Yeah, yeah bye. Say me hi to her. Oh, sure, I'll do that. Okay. Did Cynthia send you here? No, sir. Cynthia did not send me here. I offered to help, and she only gave me the address to this place. So her sins have finally found her out. A home she detested. A home she jettisoned like it never meant anything to her. Sir, Cynthia was only young, naive and confused. Then she thought she was doing the right thing for love. No. If she had succeeded, she wouldn't have considered it a mistake. No, it's not a mistake. I don't buy that idea. You know what? That girl has radical this house for me. Myself and my family. For years. Because of her actions. You are just telling me she, she, she made a mistake. Sir. She is so ashamed of her actions. She doesn't even know how to face her family. Ma, sir, no matter what, Cynthia is still your daughter. Excuse me. As far as I'm concerned, Cynthia ceased to be my daughter since she left this home. You know what it means? Let her suffer the consequences of her actions. And, and if you don't mind, Tell her not to see her hundred meters radius around this household. Else, absolute nonsense. My daughter, I will talk to my husband. Okay, I will talk to him. Ma, yeah. Please talk to him. I will. I will. I am sure if Cynthia is assured of her family's forgiveness and especially. Her father's forgiveness. She would come back. But is it that bad? Is it that bad? Oh my God. Oh. That's my number. Remember to call me. I will. Thank you. I'll call you. I knew that's him, man. Tell her where she was going to. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She did call you. Uh, the, the sister called her. The younger sister called her and told her that the mother just collapsed and been, uh, she's been rushed to the hospital. So she had to make an impact to travel. Younger sister, did you say? Yes. <sighs> she's the last, um, she's the last of four children, according to what she told me. Do not think about it like that. It could be a cousin or anyone she calls family. Okay? Yeah, that's true. But why is she not taking my calls? She's not taking your calls? At all. Ah, I hope there's no problem. <sniffs> Try to call her again. I've called her. She's not taking my call. She's not taking your call. Oh my God. Not this should happen to no woman. No. <laughs> I don't have any money for any better. I don't have money for any better. No. What's that? No money. No woman should not die. Are you sure you love me? Are you sure you love me? Are you sure you love me? I love you. Let me tell you. Do you know that because of you I can jump inside this water? Allow me to jump for you. The love I have for you is it's so much that I cannot control myself again. Let me jump. Let me jump now. No, don't. Okay, what if I jump and you jump with jump inside with me? No, if I jump with you, I'll now you owe me like it's not like
What is the meaning of this nonsense? It is surely say na money, na money, na money, na money. Surely say na money, na money, na money, na money. Are you sure I didn't make a mistake by asking this man to marry this girl? Hey! Who, who does this? How can a man and a wife come back home all drunk singing stupid songs? Marizu. Marizu. See this container? I don't trust it anymore. You see this container? I don't trust it anymore at all. This container cannot give me grandchildren. Oh, cannot give me grandchildren. How can it drop? Give me grandchildren. Hey, how can? This container cannot give me grandchildren. I have to do something about it. Nay, no matter what she has done. All she would do in the nearest future, she still remains your daughter. She still remains our daughter. Can't you see? I've told you times without number. To <sighs> drop this single topic in this house. I don't even want to hear about it. She chose her path, and she will definitely follow that. Am <laughs> I understood? How can you be so hard, so merciless on your own daughter, your own daughter? That thing you referred to as my daughter chose to disobey me by sneaking out of the house in the dead of the night when the ghosts are asleep with a goon, I mean a good, a good for nothing goon. And you want me? To recall her and call her my daughter? No, 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 no. She ceased to be my daughter a long, long time ago. Yes. Yes. Tell them I say so. Yes. Your blood runs in her vein. Your blood runs in her vein. Can't you see? Oh, my God. Hey, what was the meaning of that nonsense last night? What? What nonsense are you talking about, mother? You getting back here drunk with a mother. We had a lot to drink last night. That's nothing. What type of a woman drinks like that? And again, what type of a man encourages the wife to drink like that with him? Mom, there's no reason to be over dramatic. I told you we had a lot to drink. All right, sorry. It won't happen again. It shouldn't happen again. If Imelda is this wild, then she's definitely not a wife material for my own son. Mom, not my can son. You please stop making mountains out of more hills. Really? It, it's it's not going to happen again. Sorry. It better not happen. I need grandchildren. I cannot get grandchildren from a drunk woman. I cannot get grandchildren from a drunk me. I need grandchildren. Don't you understand? Sorry. Don't you understand? I'm sorry. Okay. I need grandchildren. I need grandchildren. Not from a drunk woman. I need grandchildren. Okay. You too. I'll still be with you. Sure, I know. So why don't you get going? Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> All right, mommy. I'll see you later. All right. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Imelda. 
Are you okay? What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of what? Your father particularly was very, very angry. I told you. I told you it was a waste of time, didn't I? No, Cynthia, it's not a complete waste of time. At least your mother promised to talk to him. She won't do that more than once. She knows the kind of man she's married to. And your sister, Maris, she gave me her number. You spoke to Maris. Mm -hmm. You spoke to my sister. <laughs> yes. Should I call her? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, it's ringing. Thank you. Take it easy. Hello? Maris. You did tell me that he got another apartment at um, Agumaro. Don't mind me, I thought to make it out. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? Mm. How's the mom and your siblings? I'm oh, good. Hi. Sorry, sorry guys. Um, Bishop, with my lovely wife. Sweetheart, that's my coconut head friend. Very good friend though, <laughs> Bishop. Hi, Bishop. Hi, hi. Uh, um, We'll leave you too. Okay. Oh, good. I'll join you later. Fine girl. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Marizu. Hmm? You traded Cynthia for that girl. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. I just surprised you. You got married without telling me. Your friend. Oh, come on, you know it's not possible. You know, she's she's not my wife yet, but you know, she's living with me. Yeah. Okay, if you say so, but you need to be very careful. Some wolves look like domestic dogs, so be careful, man. I, I will be careful, but can't you see? Forget that, him. <laughs> can't you see? <laughs> Hello, babe. Hi. Um, has a friend left? Yeah, he has. Oh. He seems he recognized me like we've met somewhere. Did he say anything to you? Um, no, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah. Do you know him? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I've heard your conversation with your mom the last time and he seems she doesn't like me. Oh, no. Or does she? No, come on, don't say that. You know, she's just, you know, looking out for me. Uh, besides, the way we came back the last time was, was uncalled for, especially you. Why is it especially me? I mean, so it's cool for you to go out there and live your life, have your phone, but I can't. Babe, come on. You're beginning to make issues out of this. It hasn't gotten to that. It's, it's, it's not the way you think. I, I, I told you. I've settled with my mom. But I've not settled with you yet. I will not allow any woman to come dictate my life in my husband's house. Look. Come on, don't don't take it more than it is. Is, is that why you are you've been acting so cold to me? Did you guys fight? No, we didn't. <laughs> Your mom knows so much than to pick a fight with me. She wouldn't dare. Imelda. That woman you're talking about is my mother. And I will not have you insult my mother in my house. Did you hear me? Understood. Good. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Sit here. Uh, 
They are not around. You can feel free. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Okay. I came with someone. Someone? Who? Come in. Grown. Are you still in school? Yes. I'm in my 300 levels now. Hey, that's so nice. How is mom and dad? They are fine. Mom sends her greetings. Wait, she knows you're here? Yes. But dad doesn't. He's still very mad at you. He has every reason to be. Sister. <sighs> Looking at you. You don't look like the wife of a man that have this house. You're his slave. I use the word slave because a house help is better than you. Maurice. Why don't you just come home? Follow me and let's go home. No matter how dad is angry with you, he will not treat you like the way your husband is treating you. Especially when I and mom have accepted you back. It will be two to one. That will not have any other option than to accept you. Paris, I am ashamed of myself. I understand. We all make mistakes. I think that's my husband. He's back. What should I do? Should I hide? Don't worry. I will explain to him that you are my younger sister, okay? My younger sister. You must think I'm stupid, right? I swear, she's my younger sister. Cynthia, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Get out. Get out. He's at me. Oh! Huh? Don't you ever, you miserable life, do that again. Did you hear me? Please leave my hand. See, Marizu, if you know it's that evil woman that gave birth to you, raise your hand on me again. I need to take it. Ouch! Are you just gonna walk out? I'm going to ignore the sound coming from this room. Marizu! Marizu! What is going on there? I hope you're not doing something stupid though. Okay, I hope it's not something serious. Marizu, can you hear me?
afternoon. Sorry, please, where is Cynthia? Where is Cynthia? Can't you talk? Did anything happen to Cynthia? Cynthia! Cynthia! You are the CMO, Secretary of the Church. You are the President of the Social Group. You are the Chairman of Planning Committee. You are the Member of Region of Mary. All this title given to you and respect in church, does it not draw you close to God? Does it not? I, know my <laughs> I don't understand you. I don't quite understand you. You are so complex. I have explained to you severally what this girl has cost me. A lot of things have ruined me because of my daughter's behavior. I was meant to be given a several awards at the decision level. I was meant to be part of the people that will visit the Pope, go to Rome, this few years. But all these things eluded me because of your daughter's nasty behavior in this family. And you're here telling me I should forgive her. So we should fold our hands. We should fold our hands. And let our own daughter, our flesh and blood, suffer in the arms of that man, that wicked man. And uh, she chose <laughs> over her family members. Yes, she chose her path. And that, I see, she will follow. Sometimes I I doubt your Christianity, oh. Sometimes I I I wonder, I I, I wonder if. The preaching that you are giving to people every day you preach, every day you pray that God should forgive you. You cannot forgive your own daughter. Enough of this! Enough of it! Enough of this religious blackmail! You even go to church, you preach! What do you mean? In life, everything has the law that goes with it. Laws of cause and effect. If you do anything positive, you get the result positively. And if you do anything negatively, you get the result negatively. Very simple. If you put your hand in the fire, the fire will burn you. That is what it means. You want to come here and, and, be, and, be, and be blackmailing me because I, I serve God. Hello, Auntie Zara. What? Which hospital? Mm -hmm. who, who is in the hospital? <laughs> that was Auntie Zara. Sister Cynthia's friend. The lady that came here the other day. Uh -huh. She said Sister was rushed to the hospital. Uh, I said it. In a very bad shape. And her husband claimed that she fell from the stairs. What? I'm going to the hospital right now. Yes, I'll go with you. I'll me too, me too. After all, she's my daughter. Yes, our daughter. What is the meaning of this? Walk into people's party and turn on the music. How? People's party indeed. So while my son and family are busy cleaning the mess, you are here turning this house into a party club. Is that what you're doing? How is this mess my problem? Tell me. How? Was I the one that asked him to beat up a woman as if she was an object? Tell me! How dare you? How dare you remember? How dare me what? This is my husband's house. 
Okay? And I have every right to do whatever I want to do and how I please. Is your husband's husband? Has he paid your bride price? <laughs> the last time I checked, he has not paid your bride price. But you know what? He is not going to do that until you prove to me that you are the woman in it. Look at me. I call you container of children. Up till now, you've not given, you've not given me any sign that you can bear me. Please. Oh, please. You have not given me any sign. Not even a magnet or breast, nothing. Let me hear what. I have pregnancy. Let me hear what that bear. If I wear you, if I wear you, I will focus more on getting pregnant than all the stupid things you do around here and call me party. You're just a pathetic witch. Me? That's what you are. You, you hate me. You call me a witch. You hate me. You call me a... Your wife called me a witch. Oh, she's not even a wife. She's not a wife. This stupid thing you brought here called me a witch. What's, what's the meaning of that? I'm talking to you. What's the meaning of that? I am, I am talking to you. How dare you? How dare you talk to my mother in that manner? You even called her a witch. And how dare she? I ask you. Why would she speak to me in that manner as well? Knowing fully that I was just having a harmless fun. Tell me! You turned my house into a disco whore. And you think she has no reason to be angry? Is this your father's house? Marizu, I am your wife. And this house is equally mine. Do you get me? And let me remind you, blockhead, that I'm not married to you yet. I've not even paid your bride price. Oh, wow. The only reason is that you want to get me pregnant with this toothpick in between your towels that refused to ever stand since I met you. Tell me about it. She called it a toothpick. Call it a toothpick. <laughs> you crazy. Are you stupid? Eh? You don't want it? Are you stupid? You don't want it? Mama! You don't want it? Eh? No problem! Now where is your wrong? Why are you running? Bastard! Try me next time! Think I'm your soft wife! What is going on? Why are you running? What's she saying? Hey! Meta has gone crazy. Crazy? Yes! She attacked me with bottle! Bottle? Mama, I'm telling you. Is she that wild? I never knew. I never knew she's like this. So, where did you pick that mad woman? I... Where do you think that mad girl for? I should not my this. You know what? Mm. I am not going to put up with you and your crazy woman in this house. I am going to pack my things now and leave for my own house. What? Why are you going to now? What do you Listen to me. I am old, too old to run around the house because of a mad woman. My waist is old, my legs are crisis. So I want to go back to my house. Mm. Leave me, Mama. She's fat, I know. Marie is a fertile, mad woman can kill even the children on board. Before I count to three, Marie is one. Mama. Marie is two. Mama, leave, you want to leave, me. leave me. Leave me. Two people should have allowed me to tear that beast into a thousand pieces. What a wicked man. Very wicked. You heard the young man right. You said our daughter had an accident. She fell from the staircase. Stairs that she had been using for so many years, how can she possibly fall from it? Was she blind, drunk, dizzy? Did she faint when she got there? Or did someone push her? With everything this lady has told us, I won't be surprised. That is that her husband that pushed her down the staircase. Sir, Ma, I am very sure that Cynthia did not fall from any stairs. Cynthia is in this condition now, from Marizu's beating. That man is very wicked. Besides, what kind of falling from the staircase affects the brain? What kind of a man? What kind of a man beats up a woman? What kind of a man beats up a woman? Is he alright? Is he okay? We heard the young man and the mother claim that our daughter fell from the staircase. Why don't we wait and hear from our own daughter? We will hear our own side of the story so that we don't jump into conclusions and then know what we will do. Hmm. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I, I, I don't really know what came over me. I'm usually not like that. Trust me. I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
It meant that my mom had to leave. What, what am I even saying? My mother practically ran out of my house because of you. I didn't sleep in my room just because I was afraid of being stabbed in my sleep. Sorry, Mama. Maybe I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mama, I missed you. I mean, I was all alone. And, you know, I, the thought of you not being by my side all night was really that terrible. I, I didn't like the experience. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please she won't do it again. Mm. Why are you laughing? Who's laughing with you? Sorry. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Don't do it again, okay? So, um, <clears throat> how did it go? Um, two months gone. Huh? Yes. Doctor confirmed it. Mommy, she's pregnant. Yeah, and I think I want to do the right thing. But she has apologized to you now. Come on. Why are you finding it difficult to forgive her? But she's pregnant. She's pregnant, and that is all you've wanted. Now, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. <sighs> Maris, this is what you've always wanted, right? Bishop, I know. I know. But look, something is not just falling in. I, 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 I am convinced in my soul. Look, I still have my reservations about that pregnancy. Yes. Yeah, same here. I have my reservations too. How do you mean? It's very possible you're not the one responsible for that pregnancy. Yes. This thing for me. It's just for some minutes now. Wait, oh my guy, calm down. Calm down first. You want day my hotel room with your babe? My brother, now the whole day. It's not the whole day now. Hi, it's 50, 40 minutes. I don't finish. I just put one penny. There is no big deal. You, 50, 40 minutes. My brother, you know, pass like that. There's, the highest thing is you being in the bar and drinking. I will come and pay for the whole drink. Um, I'll pay for the whole drink you took all the, this that period. As, uh, see what thing will happen here. Eh? This girl where they make you borrow hotel room. Mm -hmm. I want to see her first with my eyes. My guy, if you see the girl, it be you go borrow house. You mean I'm? I they tell you a very fine girl. You know you don't know me before. I they do. I know they do charge small something. Wait, I, wait though. So if I see her, you just finish. You go pass. Give your money. I go pass. Give you. Nya nya nya. I stand for your ear. 
bad oh, yeah, guy. Watch, watch out the babe they come now. Look, check that fine. Check. Ah, you look this girl. No, no, run things before. Watch out that matter. Hey, my baby. My guy. My baby. Hi. Mm. How are you? I'm good. You can come and sit down. Okay. Yeah. Come and sit down. Hi. Honey, what do you care for? Let me get you something. <laughs> Your look is uh, the sun is hot. Yes, this whole thing happened the same period you introduced us. Yes, uh, that was why I made the comment I made that day you introduced us. I know she did not recognize me, but obviously I recognized her. I remember that. That was why, that was why when I came into the room that day, immediately you left. She was asking me if you said something, but I didn't even want to think about that direction, but... And I saw your face, the way you looked at her. Hi. That is what you traded Cynthia for. Bishop, you should have told me. Yes, you should have... You should have, you know, told me from onset. I should have... should have known how to control these things. Tell you what, Marizo. You want me to be a homebreaker? Besides, you wouldn't have believed me. You would have taken her words against mine. Yes. Why do you have doubts being responsible for the pregnancy? Why? You should have told me. You should have told me. Who is in this stupid house? Who is here? treats my daughter as if she has no home, as if she didn't come from a home. Wicked man. Are you not a wicked man? Tell me, after all my daughter has gone through in your arms and the arms of your stupid mother, all you did was when she, she, she fell down in a staircase, you took her to the hospital and abandoned her there. Who does that? Who does that? Are you not a wicked man? Onya woman, idiot! Huh? Just pray to your God. Pray to your God that nothing happens to my daughter, mentally and otherwise. Else, you will have the whole family to contend with. Idiot! Come on, Pama! Wicked man! Rubbish! Nonsense! Hello, Mom. It seems the whole world is about to crash on me. I am confused. Everything. Everything, Mom. Cynthia's. Cynthia's case. Imelda's pregnancy, F everything. Mom, I need you here.
I have a confession to make. It's good to see that you're getting better. You know you don't have to defend him anymore, right? Saram, he's a very dangerous man. There's no point making a case against him. He's going to win. He will bite the lawyers, the police, the courts if you leave him. He has the money. We are not just using the police. <coughs> Cynthia, we have to put out your story out there in the news. Tell the blogs, social media. Yes, you have to tell your story. That way, he will have no hiding place. I don't, I don't want all this publicity. It's not something I want. Cynthia, the damage has already been done. You have to face it and then move on with your life. Look, there are so many girls out there that will learn from your mistakes if you tell your story. Do you know how many women that are going through what you went through in your marriage? And you can be a voice to them. Cynthia, you have to come out and tell your story. So, mm? I'm tired. Cynthia, I know you're tired. Honestly, I know you are. But you have us. You have your family now. Your mom, your dad, even your sister. You have me. Even the gates man, he can defend you. Yes. <laughs> So we need you to be strong and speak up for yourself. Okay. Hi. Marise. Marise, so you knew all this while and you allowed this girl to suffer. You, since you're so far simply because of a decision she took just to please you. That girl suffered just to please you. Hmm? Hey. Oh my God. Oh, I felt cheated. I, 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 I felt she kept it from me so she could get married to me. You felt cheated? Tell me what you expect from a girl that, that, that ran away from home simply to be with you. What do you expect from a girl that lost her womanhood simply to be with you? A girl that passed through series of her books and the, the man that made her go through such a box is about to... Reject her. It's about to throw her out. Do you want the girl to go back to her parents empty? Is that what you want? You're angry with this girl because she didn't tell you. She didn't tell you what she was battling between telling you and not telling you when you proposed. Marizu, let me ask you this question. If you were not ready to have children, why didn't you use protection? I was not everywhere. Okay, I, I tried, but it didn't work. It didn't. So you expected that girl, after you subjected her to several abortions, to go back to her house? Or you, why, why were you blaming her in the first place? Why did you blame her in the first place? Okay, this girl left her parents, ran to you. You made her to go through pains of life. Do you know what it means for a woman to have an abortion? Okay, now, you have seen it. This girl is in the hospital. And her people have suffered all of a sudden. What do we tell them? There's this old saying that the day you kill a madman is the day you will find out that he has relatives. Hmm? <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do in this situation? Oh, babe, what's going on? I mean, I rushed home immediately after your call. And what's your mom doing here? Shut up, you silly girl. Am I prohibited from coming to my son's house now? Am I prohibited? <laughs> With your character? You are prohibited. My friend, will you shut up and sit down? Sit! What with the tone? I'd rather stand. Who is responsible for the pregnancy you are carrying? Answer! Answer! What sort of stupid question is that? It's yours, of course. It's your child. <laughs> hey! You know what? I mean, you fit each other. You fit yourselves. Association of evil doers. What, 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 what is your mom talking about and why is she even here? I'm not going to raise my child with this troublesome... And I ask you again, who is the father of that child? Because I know it's not me. Answer! Answer! Wait, I hope all this thing is not a pattern for you to run away from responsibility. Yes, it is. 
because it is not mine. You think I don't know what you do? You think I don't know how you sleep around with different men? Bishop, my friend, told me how you sleep around with men in different hotels. You think I don't know? And for your information, those guys are his friends. Hey! Hey! And we thought we brought a container of children in the middle. And they know that the container is for everybody. This container is for everybody. Oh. And let me hey. tell you, I am sterile, okay? And I got it from an infection that I've been battling with months. Wait, wait, wait. Chalupon, wait, let me get this straight. You have infection? And all this while you've been that's without... Not, that's not the point, Amanda. What exactly is the point? You're angry that the child isn't yours. Meanwhile, you've been the one sleeping with me, knowing fully why you have infection. Oh, you now agree that the pregnancy is not mine? Can you father a child? <laughs> <laughs> 